Bag, ooh, we got a treat for you. If you aren't hungry right now, you might be after this. It's the snack that tastes good and looks good too. Joining us this morning is the Southern Grazer herself, sharing how to impress all your guests this season. That's right, Ashley. There's a new milk and cookies in town, and Heather from Southern Grazer is here chatting all things holiday charcuterie. Now, everything looks absolutely amazing. Thank I just you. spent three years in Wisconsin, so we take cheese and charcuterie boards very seriously, and this one looks great. So awesome. tell me, what are some of the best things to put on a board? So typically, I'll try to mix up um, at least three or four cheeses. Okay. I try to have a soft cheese, um, a goat cheese, a cheddar cheese, and some kind of seasonal um, cheese that um, is out there. Yeah. So um, on this board that I created, I have a brie in the middle. Yum. And then I have a um, cranberry stilton. And I have some goat cheese over here. Oh, delicious. And it's not just about what you put on the board. The placement, the creations, it's so stunning. So how do you come up with where you're going to place everything in the designs? So I typically will lay my cheeses out first. Okay. And then um, I am really big on contrast. So I try to keep lighter colors with darker colors um, because I'm a visual person. Um, flavors, I try to keep um, whatever dried fruit goes best with this, I'll put it next to that as well. Well, this one looks stunning and frankly perfect. It might be a little overwhelming for someone who wants to try it themselves at home. So if you're just starting out with making a charcuterie board, what are some tips? I would say pick your favorite items and place them and use your own creativity. There's no right or wrong to it. It's um, whatever you feel like, how you want to design it. And when you're picking out items, are you trying to balance sweet and salty or is there any mindset that goes into that? Yes. Um, for instance, if I have a blue cheese on, on a platter, I will mix that um, side by side with either a dried cranberry, honey, some lemon curd is also very good with that. So if you're like me and you're not a fan of DIY and they just want to leave it to the professionals, how can we get in touch with you to have you make us a charcuterie board? So I do have a website. It is southerngrazer.com. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. And when it comes to buying one, are there different sizes, different price range? Walk, walk me through that. Yes, so I, I have from as small as a snack box that is four inches, four by four, and they are little to-go boxes, um, all the way up to a 22-inch platter. I also do grazing tables, um, corporate events, and weddings. Oh, absolutely. This is amazing. This is one of those gifts where I would get one for yourself and one to give away because I definitely want to chow down. <laughs> well, thanks so much for joining us, Heather. Thank you so much. Over here, we thank you so much for that report. And Heather, we enjoyed you as well. Y'all showed us some of those goodies. We're going to be looking for those after the break. Thank you. Now